Hello folks and welcome to your next super yacht update and we have quite a bit going on. Let's go have a look. Now, naturally had to wait until I started videoing. Anyway, the super yacht currently has our trusty Lexus GS450H hybrid gearbox in there. Can't really see much of it at the minute because it's got the front mount with the inverter and so on there that we showed in our last video. Uh, we have our pump controller on the side. We've got some uh, wiring going on over here, uh, which I'll go through in a minute. On this side here, uh, we have our two little brass pins that I machine to let us uh, connect the high voltage straight into the DC bus. Don't have a full cooling system on here yet. Just got two of these 20 volt batteries here uh, just for initial testing. We'll be fitting a total of 12 batteries up here uh, for our first on-road driving test. Um, car is currently up on axle stands because we have been, um, we have been doing things like filling the gearbox with oil and checking for leaks. I've got our ubiquitous uh, Vauxhall Zafira power steering pump in here. Uh, I'm not going to go into any detail on that. Uh, I've, you know, I've like just you, you use these in all the, the cars now. Uh, we did have to do some brazing on those power steering lines down there because they're some kind of proprietary quick connect that BMW uh, decided to use rather than just metric threaded fittings. So over here in the electronics box, uh, we've been pretty busily um, working out what wires do what. This is the IV, IVM module, which is where the E65 uh, controls a lot of the relays and fuses and power supplies to uh, things that we like, the engine automatic gearbox and stuff like that. We've been able to hijack that uh, with our Lexus controller here. Uh, so we're now connected into the throttle pedal, brake pedal, vehicle, powertrain, CAN bus. Um, and we're able to trip on power uh, through the IVM, the things like the inverter, the uh, gearbox, oil pump, the power steering pump, all those kind of things. So what I'm going to very quickly do is we'll just power up the, the car, uh, connect up our 40 volt test battery, and we just show you a bit of wheel spin. And uh, we'll come back later then uh, when we have more batteries in here. Hopefully some kind of a hacky cooling system in here just to get a bit of fluid in and we'll be able to move the car uh, under Lexus hybrid electric power. Okay, at this point you're gonna hear the uh, transmission oil pump running. It's beginning to sound like I need to add some more oil to this. Everything's powered up, uh, controller's on here. I have some LED action there. I've disabled the power, the, power, the power steering pump for now just to keep the noise down. And if we, around here, I'll set you guys up here for the kind of ubiquitous wheel spin video. And then, a little bit of gas. The old super yacht is turning her wheels with electric power uh, for the first time. And also turning her, her wheels with any power since the engine seized up. 
So that's it, guys. Uh, that's kind of where we have things at the minute. We got our gearbox set up. Um, so yeah, it's just basically wiring now, getting some more batteries in here, topping off the fluid, and uh, clean up the wiring here a bit, solder up some of those wires, tape them up, all that. I'm not gonna bore you to death with all that. And uh, yeah, so we'll hopefully be back later on uh, when we have some uh, wheels turning at full voltage. Drop the car back down and see if the damn thing moves. Stay with us. Okay, so not much changed here in terms of the wiring and stuff, but I have cobbled together some quick software, uh, which is letting our controller listen for CAN messages from the vehicle and respond back to them. So let's show you what we've got going on. So right now the car is, should be asleep. So open the door when it detects my heavy ass sitting into the sea, it will wake up and put our foot on the brake and start our key to the CAS and press the, oh. <laughs> Naturally when I was filming that had to happen, didn't it? So, foot on the brake, press our start button, and our systems wake up, and we have RPMs on our tachometer, uh, we see neutral on our um, shift position, we can select park by pushing the park button, we're in park. Now if we push the throttle, nothing happens, so, oh no, the coolant level is low, crap. So if we select drive, uh, foot on the brake, and select drive, and press the throttle, please go forward. Foot back on the brake, select reverse. Wheels go backwards. So from inside the car, we can select drive. And we're all good. We can select park. We got nothing. Then we can uh, press our start button again. Switch the car off. So, getting there. Okay, so at this point, uh, we have 12 of our nominally 20 volt batteries installed up here in the front. Uh, we've got about 230 to 140 volts uh, going into the system at the minute. I don't have a cooling uh, reservoir or radiator yet. Uh, just decided I wanted to see how we got, we got on with a higher voltage first. Um, so we'll jump in the car uh, and we'll show you what happens. So like before we get our key, uh, I forget which way to put this in, the cast. Okay, so yeah, one blown fuse later. Uh, so we're powered up again as we were but before. Um, what happens at the minute with the tachometer is when I have less than 750 RPMs on MG2 I send 750 and when MG2 increases above that you'll see the tachometer move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift into drive and I'm going to very gingerly press the throttle. And you'll see our gauge is uh, spinning up. So uh, yeah, 
I think it's safe to say we've got a bit more power now. Um, reverse uh, works as well, but my tackle won't work because MG2 speeds report as negative values and I've screwed up my programming. Um, we can go into park uh, and then we can basically switch off. So, so the next uh, part of the puzzle is we're going to tidy up the wiring on the front a little bit, uh, drop the vehicle down on its wheels and see if we can just move it forward and back a few feet here within the workshop. It'll be next day then that we'll have the um, cooling on and we can actually go driving. Okay folks, uh, we are in park, um, we're on our feet, we have functional power steering. Uh, I'm going to select drive. Our camera outside, we're going to add some throttle. Oh, time to stop. Yes, driving stability could be affected. Oh no. Okay, let's go for some reverse and add throttle. I don't want to crash into the wall. Okay, back to drive. Oh, I just like the neutral. Back to drive. I'm just go over this way a little bit to the right. You can definitely feel, because in drive we're using MG1 and MG2, and you can definitely feel the difference. I'm only using MG2 here in reverse we're definitely motoring Uh, okay folks let's shut down so uh, thank you super yacht uh, I hope you've enjoyed this one um, yeah first drive of the e65 uh, first run with our Lexus uh, hybrid gearbox and controller and all that stuff um, so we will be back with a proper drive outside fairly soon just as soon as I get the uh, cooling system plumbed up and that kind of, th of thing but we've enough of a proof of concept here now today to know that it is going to work so thank you very much for tuning in thank you for sticking with me uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe and check the links in the description for patreon and paypal should you wish to financially support any of this craziness as i usually say it's probably best not to because then i'll just do more of it so uh i'll leave you there uh for more information on this and other projects do look in there'll be a link in the description for the open inverter forum and my web shop should you wish to buy any of this scrap so until then happy lexus controller tuning